Okay, this is Sunday the 23rd of August, and this is my first test run with my new Senna Prism camera. Obviously recording video at the moment, and uh, I can also, at the same time, take uh, still photos just by pressing a button. Not on the camera, but on my Bluetooth headset, which is also made by Senna. It's on the left side of my helmet. The uh, camera is on the right side of the helmet. It can be mounted also anywhere on the bike. It's all controlled wirelessly through Bluetooth. And I can turn it on and off with my left hand on the intercom. I can start and stop video. I can take still photos. I can go through the menu and change modes. Although it's easier to do it by using the uh, iPhone app that I have. So I can't see myself changing modes on the fly. But for battery life, turning the camera on and off is brilliant. Alright, let's go for a ride and see what the sound is like. The other uh, significant thing that the Senna has over cameras like uh, GoPro, uh, Senna is optimized for motorcyclists. So you can also record your voice through the intercom's microphone. I've got a uh, microphone in my helmet and it will record directly again all wirelessly onto the uh, video audio track now to see what it's like on the road Nice day here today. One thing you can't do is preview the video, so I don't really know if the camera is pointing properly. I just did it by eye with uh, Catherine's help. I think we should be okay. You will, of course, see part of my helmet in the picture. The only way to avoid that is to put it on top of my helmet, but then, of course, you look like an idiot. Or mounted somewhere else on the bike. There's a whole series of mounts that come in the box with the camera, unlike GoPro, where you got a couple of basic mounts and that's it, and you got to buy all the other ones. The Senna comes with uh, a staggering number of motorcycle mounts. Put it just about anywhere in the bike you could possibly think of. I'll ride into DC in a few minutes. We're just heading down to the waterfront here in Alexandria, looking at the Potomac River, and directly across is DC. It'll also be interesting to see what the uh, what the wind noise is like, if any. The camera does have its own microphone, but I have that turned off because all you would get is wind blast. But right now the only audio is from the microphone, which is uh, directly in front of my chin inside the helmet, so should be well protected from the wind.
maybe too well protected, I don't know. From my experience in the two years we've lived here, Sunday morning is about the only time it's quiet around here. Lots of cars here already at Gravely Point, and it's only 10 to 8 in the morning. Holocaust Museum there on the left. Off to my right, that's the uh, National Museum of African American History. That's supposed to open next year.
think I knew what I was doing driving around here or riding around here, but uh, such is not the case. I may get lost at any minute. World War II Memorial over there. Martin Luther King Memorial back there. That's the back of it. Korean War Memorial off to the right. And we're near the... There's the Lincoln Memorial to the right. Memorial Bridge <coughs> heading across uh, back across the river to uh, Arlington Cemetery. And that's Arlington, Virginia, those buildings over there. No, oh, 66 West. Don't really want that. E Street. Okay. Kennedy Center over there. Watergate Apartments. Yes, that Watergate. If I'm not mistaken, I'm right near the White House. Because I think we're right near the Organization of American States.
Oops. Not going to go right there. It does go in front of the White House. That's Pennsylvania Avenue. Let's go around this stuff. So if you walk to the right through that park, <coughs> down to the other end of it, you'd be looking directly at the uh, north end of the White House. You know the place where all the fence jumpers go. And if I'm not mistaken, that should be Lafayette Park right there. That was the White House ever so briefly. And if you turned right here, you'd be on Pennsylvania Avenue. Walk a little bit, look to your left, and that would be the White House. Of course, there's no way you're getting near there these days in, on a vehicle. Turning down Pennsylvania Avenue. Be heading towards the Capitol. Also the Canadian Embassy. Also riding into the sun. Guess we'll see how the camera handles that. Trump Hotel now being built. Yes, I saw the Donald's plane at uh, the airport a number of months ago. Pretty hard to miss when you're driving by. That's the old post office building, which she's turning into a hotel. Navy Memorial. There is the museum, and right beside it, it's Canadian Embassy. Turned uh, 25 years old last year. Catherine's office has a great view 
looking directly at the Capitol, right where those curved windows are under the dome or over top of the dome. Maybe I'll turn right because I'll be sitting here for a long time otherwise. This part's uh, not dug up, obviously. National Arboretum on the left. Or, oh, sorry, not Arboretum. Um, it's botanical gardens of some sort. Interesting place to visit. Now if only I could get the name straight. I don't know if I can turn here, but hey. We'll go around the block to the left where the Supreme Court will be over in that direction. Folger Shakespeare Library. Yes, that Folger is in coffee. <laughs> 